You're not going to have as many days or moments that you look back on and regret with, with regret if you didn't do this stuff. So I want to challenge all of you, all of you listening to this, like who's at home that you love? What's important in your life? What are the things that you want to do to the best of your ability every day? Like chances are it's your wife and kids. Chances are it's people you engage with every day. Chances are it's your health, it's your fitness, it's your daily habits. It's those things that you negotiate with that you regret. When you don't do the right thing, you regret them. What is that? Think about that right now in your life. And I, I want you to start to develop ways in your thinking that allow you to shift your perspective and understand what's truly important each and every day. We're back with another episode of the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Shawn Michael Crane. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now, real quick, before I drop this episode, I want to make sure that you guys are following me on all major platforms. Instagram is Sean underscore Crane underscore official. Go ahead and shoot me a follow. Send me a DM. Uh, on YouTube, it's Unstoppable Mindset. Please subscribe and share this content with anyone that's looking for inspiration and the podcast is Unstoppable Mindset on all major platforms. You guys, let's share this message with the world. I'm on a mission to change the world, but I can't do it alone. I need your help. That's why I'm going to be dropping these motivational videos. I'm here to inspire the world and lead by example, but I need other people to help me to fulfill this mission, right? I know I can't do it alone. I'm going to work my ass off every single day. I'm going to take massive action every day, but I need you guys to help me because iron sharpens iron. So today, I got a really cool message I want to share with you. If you're somebody that wants to soak up every last drop from this life, like if it was a lemon, you were just squeezing every drop, every memory, every opportunity, you know, every goal, every relationship, like everything good that this life has to offer, I want you to pay attention to this message. And I don't want you just to listen to this message. I actually want you to do something. I want you to get the book, Be Your Future Self Now by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. This is such an amazing book. I want you to go and order that book on Amazon and start reading it right away. Be Your Future Self Now by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. And the foreword is written by Tony Robbins. So you know if you have a, a foreword of your book being written by Tony Robbins, it's probably a badass book. This one is for sure. And there's something that I was reading in there the other day I want to share with you. It gave me the idea for this, this message. The author's talking about well, first of all, let me, let me start off with acknowledging something. I know that all of you listening, you want to be fucking great. You want to be amazing in your life. I know that you don't want to look back with regret. I know that you want to accomplish great things in your life that make you feel proud of who you are. I know that you want to give your all to this life. And I know that you want to appreciate the journey and you want to feel gratitude in your heart. You want to soak up those precious moments with your loved one. You don't want to overlook a moment. You don't want to show up after a long day feeling stressed and overwhelmed and not play with your kids. I know that you don't wanna make excuses and neglect your health. I know that you don't wanna allow your marriage to dissolve and grow apart from your partner right now and end up in divorce. Like I know you don't want those negative repercussions to take place. I know that you wanna live a life of meaning and purpose. I know that because within all of us is that desire to create the ultimate life. But too many people get caught on that journey and they get stuck, they get stuck in that little place of mediocrity where people's dreams die, they give up, they make excuses, and they settle. You're not one of those people. Promise yourself right now that you will never quit and give up on your dreams. Promise yourself right now that you're willing to fight every day to become somebody that you're proud of. Promise me that you're going to show up to be an example and a leader for the world, for your kids, for your community, because that's what they need. And in your heart, I know that's who you want to be. You don't want to be a half-ass. You don't want to be a loser. You don't want to be a has-been. You don't want to be one of those guys looking back thinking, what if? I know you don't, so don't be that motherfucker. Don't be that guy. So check this out. The author of this book, Be Your Future Self Now, Dr. Benjamin Hardy, he tells a story. It's really cool. Pay attention, especially if you have kids. Lean into this one. So he's driving home from work one day, and this is at a time in his career where he was really busy. He had a lot of projects going on. He's writing books. He's doing all this stuff. He's speaking. And he just said he felt overwhelmed. And he had, I think, like six kids at the time. Something crazy, right? I got three and I thought my hands were full. So anyway, he's driving home and he's just thinking about his life. And he realizes that he hasn't been showing up as his best self for his family. 
despite his intentions of wanting to be his best self, despite feeling so grateful for his wife and his children, he wasn't able to transfer that feeling to them and, and be the way he needed to be for them at the end of a long day. Now, those of you who run a business, those of you who are just crushing your goals, you're on a mission, I know you can relate to this. I know that there's times when you get home and your, your full attention isn't there. Your wife's talking to you and you're checked out. You're, you're just tired. You have brain fatigue. You've been making so many decisions all day long. You've been taking so much action. It's hard for you to be present. It's hard for you to be patient with your kids. It's hard for you to really feel the love and gratitude that you have for them in those moments. And as men, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, when this happens, it can be debilitating because we don't want to feel that way. We want to be the best. And let me ask you, when you are experiencing that, what do you do? Do you have recourse? Is there something you can do to you know, flip a switch in your brain to shift your energy so that you can show up as the man they need in that moment? Because look at these moments, once they're gone, we never get them back. These moments, if you show up in, in your family's life today at 4.30 and you're a half-assed version of yourself, that's the man that you're bringing home. That's a day you're never going to get back. And your kids are going to grow older. You and the wife are going to grow older. This life is going to pass you by. Every day counts. Every conversation counts. Every moment where your kids are trying to get your attention, it counts. Put your phone away. Look them in the eyes. Show them you care. Be present, right? It's so important. But a lot of people struggle with this. I talk to guys all the time that I coach. And despite wanting to be that man, they struggle to actually become that person. And so, you know, the author of this book, Be Your Future Self Now, Dr. Benjamin Hardy, he's talking about one day he's thinking about this exact thing that's happened in his life. And he coaches people on this. He speaks about it. He writes books about it. But he was still suffering or succumbing to, you know, this weakness. And so what he did is he pulled over and he just thought about his future self. He imagined himself 20 years in the future. If, if that man, the man 20 years older, 20 years into the future, had the opportunity to come back and live a day in his life then, how would he show up for his kids that day? How grateful would he be to spend time with them? How excited would he be? How present would he be? He wouldn't be on his phone. He wouldn't be thinking about work and other bullshit. He'd be so grateful to see his little children running up to him. So grateful to share those precious moments that have been gone for so long. It would be so important to him that nothing in the, in the world would matter more than those moments. And that's how he would live that day, or at least that last part of the day. Right, So what the author describes doing is he envisioned this and he thought about it and he started driving back home. You know, he was pulled over on the side of the road. He drove home and as soon as he pulled into his driveway, his little daughter was running out to him. And instead of getting out of the car and be like, oh, give me a second or feeling overwhelmed, he jumped out of the car and gave her a big hug and just squeezed her tight. And he said, hey, you want daddy to chase you? Go run down the sidewalk. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to get you. And he started playing with her, right? And he was running up and down the street playing with her, just fully immersed in the moment. Like, he cherished that moment. And it was evident in the way he was behaving, how he was treating his daughter, and his energy, right? The love that he was passing to her. And then he describes going inside, and it was a madhouse, you know? His kids were teenagers, and they were just going wild, and that's what teenagers do. But instead of getting overwhelmed or upset and telling them, hey, quiet down, hey, you know, I'm home, I've had a long day, like, go take it to your room, he just observed them. He describes just observing them and being, you know, enamored with, like, their conversations, their demeanor, and just showing real interest in what they were talking about, what they were saying, and what they were doing. And it was a completely different approach than he would have normally have taken because he pulled over to the side of the road and imagined that he's coming back in time from 20 years in the future, getting to live that one day and spend it with his family. And the way he approached his wife and treated her, the way he approached his kids, everything was different because he was able to shift his perspective prior to coming home. Now, this is something that I'm always working on. I'm always looking for you know these little tricks, these hacks, these way, ways to shift my perspective and adjust my mentality accordingly so I can make every moment of every day count. Now, look, you guys, we're never going to be perfect. We're never going to get a 10 out of 10 across the board every day for the rest of our lives. There's going to be moments where we lack awareness. There's going to be moments where we do something that we regret. There's going to be moments where we wish we would have behaved differently. But when you start to think this way and you start to really work on your perspective and your mindset, you understand what's important. You're not going to have as many days or moments that you look back on and regret, with, with regret if you didn't do this stuff. 
So I want to challenge all of you, all of you listening to this, like who's at home that you love? What's important in your life? What are the things that you want to do to the best of your ability every day? Like chances are it's your wife and kids. Chances are it's people you engage with every day. Chances are it's your health, it's your fitness, it's your daily habits. It's those things that you negotiate with that you regret. When you don't do the right thing, you regret them. What is that? Think about that right now in your life. And I, I want you to start to develop ways in your thinking that allow you to shift your perspective and understand what's truly important each and every day. Because it's so easy for a week to pass you by, a month to pass you by, for your kids' you know, younger years of life to pass you by, never really applying this mentality and getting the most out of life. Like, remember, your kids are only young once. Those first 10 years of their life, if you live to be 100 years old, that's just 10% of your lifespan. Like, dude, it's 10%. That goes by so quick in the blink of an eye. Like, your kids are young once. That time in their life is so precious. Make sure that every day counts. Make sure that you're showing up as a superhero for them. Make sure that you're coming home with the energy, the demeanor, the attitude that they need to feel your excitement, to know how much you love them, so that your gratitude aren't just words you speak, but actions that you depict every day in the way that you live. And same for your wives, man. Every day you should seek to do things that make your wife admire you. Do things that make your wife inspired by you. Do things that you're, to, to make your wife know definitively that you love her so much, right? Like, by the way that you behave, the little things that you do, don't let these moments pass you by. You know, the things I think about every day in my life is today I'm going to do stuff to make my wife admire me. And these, these might be trivial things, you guys. Like, I'm going to make sure there's not one dish in the sink. Every time I wash by, walk by the kitchen, I'm doing all the dishes, right? When I see toys on the ground from the kids playing, I'm picking them all up. Like, you know, at, at bed tonight when the kids fall asleep, I'm just going to give my wife a massage, you know? Like, I'm going to put some candles on, you know? Um, like, I'm going to do the little things. Maybe I'm going to plan a surprise trip, a little getaway for just the two of us. Like, when you think about the people you love and it's on your mind, you're going you're gonna to recognize these little things. They're not going to just pass you by, and you're more likely to act upon them. And then with my kids every day, like, my little boy, Preston, he loves to wrestle. He wants to jump on the couch and climb all over me. And there's been days in the past where, like, you know, I'm tired or my, my body hurts or blah, 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 all these bullshit excuses, right? It's like that's not the dad that he deserves. That's not the man that I'm going to be. Every day I'm going to go home and wrestle with him. I'm going to get his little action figure toys out and play make-believe with him. Like that's the dad he deserves. That's the man I'm going to be for him. My daughter Scarlett, every day, like, I'm going to draw pictures with her. I'm going to spell out words with her because she loves to write. She's, like, learning to read already. She's four years old. You know, I'm going to draw with her. She loves to draw pictures. We're going to put them on the refrigerator. You know, my oldest boy, Mason, he loves basketball. Every day I'm going to go home and play basketball. I'm going to shoot hoops with him. I'm going to play horse or pig. I'm going to spend 30 minutes practicing free throws. Like, every day I'm going to walk my dog, my dog Hoss. Like, let's get him outside. Let's go to the beach. Every day, that's the intention. That's the man my family deserves. That's the man that in 20 years I would be dying to come back and live as, to do those things. I would give anything to come back to these moments right now if I was 20 years in the future and get to live a day in the life as that man. And so that's what I think about every day. And that help, helps me course correct. That helps me to make sure that every day counts. And it helps me to understand what's important. You guys need to know what's important, and you need to know that every day counts, and you need to be able to train your mind to recognize this so you act the right way, in a way that you're proud of, not in a way that you're going to regret. Okay, you guys, so if you know a young father, a business owner, somebody who needs to hear this message, tell them to get this book, first and foremost, Be Your Future Self Now by Dr. Benjamin Hardy, and tell them to listen to this episode. Send them the link. Make sure that you subscribe. Tell them to, to subscribe we got to share this message with more people. I'm telling you, this message is going to hit home for a lot of fathers, a lot of parents in general, and a lot of people that want to get the most out of life. So make sure to subscribe, like the channel, share the channel. I love you guys. Let's fucking go.